Can you explain the similarities between Mr. Kurtz and Caesar? Both are men of intelligence and education who traveled from a life of relative comfort, technological wizardry, and civilization into a wilderness full of warring people with relatively low education and a relatively primitive lifestyle. Both rose to power and were essentially deified for their intelligence, knowledge, and leadership capabilities. Both cut off communication with the outside world and lived in their, until now, remote, savage kingdoms using the most brutal means possible to deal with rare instances of dissent. Both have an unusual way of looking at the world due to their cultural isolation. Unlike Mr. Kurtz, Caesar's reign continues for a long, long time. J. E. Sawyer, on a related note, at least one source of real-world inspiration for Caesar was Charles Taylor of Liberia. Charles Taylor is a real dude. For real. Go read some of the trial transcripts where his war crimes are detailed. The shit that went down in Liberia, and Sierra Leone, on his command makes F. N. V. Caesar's legion look moderately cruel. I've never thought of Caesar's or the legion's activities as, edgy. For their own purposes, they engage in a variety of horrible practices that others have engaged in throughout history. I'm sure individual players might want to engage in ranking atrocities. Something I've never really found was productive in discussions about history, but Caesar and his crew in the same league as other brutal warlords. He was inspired, on our end, by people like Charles Taylor, Timur, and Simone de Montfort, the Crusader. Caesar is a persona he adopted, but he effectively operates as a warlord with no regard for individual human lives outside of how he can use them. Re. Caesar's karma being neutral. I believe at the time my rationale for that karma setting is that Caesar is in a Mr. Kurtz-like state of unmoored morality. Whatever moral framework he had as Edward Sallow among the followers has disintegrated after years of being Caesar. I.e., it's not so much that his karma is neutral as much as it is alien. That said, I don't feel strongly about that designation and largely feel that the karma system was vestigial in New Vegas. If we're trying to encourage players to form their own opinions about factions and individuals, having a design layer that assigns, essentially, alignment is weird. SRC, 